guys, my name is Beth Safarian and I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist. Today I'm going to be talking to you about exercise and the pelvic floor. Um, specifically what we're going to go over is one uh, method or strategy to complete a squat while using your pelvic floor and your breath in a certain way to coordinate with it. Okay. Um, so much of the time I have people come in saying, okay, what shouldn't I be doing? Planks, deadlifts, squats. Um, these are all some things that a lot of my clients really want to be able to do but are cutting out of their lifestyle because of the fear of worsening their prolapse or worsening their diastasis or their incontinence. Um, so just right off the bat, everyone is extremely different. Um, so don't kind of cut things out of your lifestyle without getting an assessment done. Um, based on how you're presenting and, and how stable your tissues and your muscles are, you may be able to do a lot of the things that you're thinking are out of, out of the question for you. So first and foremost, definitely like get an assessment, um, thinking about getting an assessment done to get a better idea of what you should and shouldn't be doing is first and foremost. Um, that being said, what I'll often see is a lot of breath holding with exercise. So, um, you know, with a deadlift or with a squat, there's a lot of, a lot of the time there's um, not breathing happening. So I'm going to show you a way to do a squat today, what, which incorporates pelvic floor activation as well as breathing with it as well. Okay. When we do um, breath hold and uh, create interabdominal pressure, holding the breath re results in this interabdominal pressure needing to go somewhere. So automatically it often will go downward towards the pelvic floor affecting both the muscles as well as the fascia that support the pelvic organs, which is not a good thing. What we want to try and do is incorporate a way to exhale and therefore allow that pressure to escape this way out through the mouth rather than push downward towards the pelvic organs and pelvic floor. Okay, um, So I'm going to show you a way to do a squat right now. Uh, basically what will be happening is when you move downwards into your squat, your pelvic floor relaxes. So if this is your pelvic floor, as I squat down, the pelvic floor is relaxing. At the bottom of the squat, I'm going to have you squeeze and lift the blueberry, which is one cube for a Kegel that I'll give people, at about 30% strength. Not super strong, just a gentle activation. And then as you stand up, you're going to exhale through your mouth and continue to draw that blueberry up. Okay? So what it would look like is something like this. Okay? So I'm going to inhale, Kegel. Okay, so again, the inhales, the pelvic floor relaxation, a gentle 30% Kegel, and drawing that Kegel up as I stand. So again, inhale, Kegel, and exhale. So I'm showing it very segmentally. You do not need to do it um, to that degree. You can, as you become better at it, as it becomes more natural, it will be more smooth. But that's the basic kind of um, coordination or steps that you can go through and try and see if that works for you as a squat. Again, many different ways to incorporate the pelvic floor in your breath with a squat. That is just one option. When in doubt, always a good idea to get assessed by a pelvic floor physio so that you aren't missing out on things that you want to be doing like a deadlift, like a plank, um, and that you are making sure that you aren't doing anything that might be worsening your condition as well. Thank you.